Obviously, Tinumbu is behaving like a 419. He's been coming out with uh, rhetorics, things that uh, he knows that uh, people want to hear. For how long are you going to be saying that? Oh, let the poor breathe. Oh, I know what you are passing through. I know this and this and that. It is unacceptable for people to be poor. This and that. I'm not happy. I'm not... So those are the things that he has been saying. And yet, the more he says all those things, the more the suffering of the people increases. He's coming out with a lot of rhetoric. Now he has come with another one. He said poverty not a shameful thing, but it is not just acceptable. Tinubu tells Nigerians are made biting hardship. He's just saying all these things. There is nothing he's doing that is made to make things even better. When it comes to human, you know, human resources or taking care of the or the human human welfare, this man does not know about it. He doesn't know anything about it. The only thing he does he does is just to inflict a, a suffering, taxing people. Taxing people, taxing people, double taxation. And the other thing he does is just to make, you know, select free individuals, give them whatever he wants to give them so that those ones will go out and begin to sing his praises. But when it comes to human development, when it comes to the welfare of the people, as far as I know, he does not have it. And that is why he's coming with all these uh, rhetorics. You can't give what you don't have. He stated that poverty is not shameful. But uh, unacceptable. Why speaking against the background of the rising inflation, increasing cost of living, acute hunger, and rising level of poverty and hardship in Nigeria? Tinubu said this at the closing ceremony of a three day cabinet retreat, which took place in the State House Conference Center, Abuja, said that a check of everyone's history will show that there is a trace of poverty in it. The president therefore taxed members of his cabinet and other top management staff of the civil service to work together, change the narrative of Nigeria and bring economic prosperity to the country. Channel TV quoted Tinubu as saying, Since we are one family and one nation, and we are in this vehicle together, really, to change the narrative and bring about economic prosperity of our country, are we ready? Poverty is not a shameful thing. But it is not just acceptable. If you check our history, there's a trace of poverty in it. But we should find a way to dig ourselves out of it. <laughs> so it is less for you and me to navigate this ship or this ship out of poverty. We have a lot of work ahead of us. His cabinet members therefore promised Tinubu that uh, they would work for Nigerians and work as a team to achieve the best for the country. Team ship, oh, according to Tinubu. Now so, they tell they tell they bobo them. It's on a bobo. <laughs> Poverty is actually shameful. Even the Bible says the wisdom of a poor man shall be despised. It is the same reason African leaders are not taken serious during their sessions. United Nations, the hall is almost empty compared to when the world powers are speaking. Exactly. Sometimes our uh, impatience is second to none. A president who spent only five months. You see there. Only spare five months, but he has been able to hide. Why you know Kokukuman just live and the way it be? Make it they find solutions to the problems where they on ground. But he compounded to the problems and somebody tell us that hey, he just came five months. Impatient. The same thing where Buari tell you. The same thing where Good Luck Jonathan tell you. The same thing where they don't they tell you for God knows when. Now you see they tell you. So you see they are, they are, which day the Nigeria go uh, 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 get a reward of uh, the dividends of the democracy. Can you imagine? He just came five months ahead. That was how we waited for Buari. Yeah. Presidential yet is not a shameful thing either, but it is uh, acceptable amid biting hardship among Nigerians. When I hear say he just came, how can you just come and and this old everything just just cut you know you know you know just scatter? You know if you even wait, make you even watch, make you make you watch grand first. And some people, some some unreasonable people. We come out and be telling you, eh, he just came on board. He will spend year. They will just say he's one year now. Ah, they will not stay for year. They will say, ah, uh, how do you expect him to, you know, things that have, have been destroyed for how many decades? You just want it to, to get fixed within four years. That is the rhetoric they are going to be telling you. I, I, <laughs> I pray for those who are going to, who are going to be under this government. I pray for, for the survival of the people who are going to be under this government. Honestly, hmm. Hi, can you imagine? Yes, may this poverty favor owner and family 
on a family in this regime. The president is very correct. He even said at the background of every successful or wealthy person, there are traces of poverty. Nobody should be ashamed of his or a poverty background. So people should not be worried. It's okay. Mm, it's not a shameful thing to be poor. <laughs> Jagabanti, thy kingdom comes. Right on, sir. Well done, oh, president. Motivational speaker. Yeah, he has turned to motivational speaker. With all these rhetorics. The best presidents of Nigeria, the North, South, and West, are enjoying this government. Yes, so they are really enjoying it. God bless Jagaban. Enough for sweet talk or coast, Baba Tinubu. Do the needful. Mm hmm. She will not say na coat, it's just a coat. They talk. Do this, do something on price of fuel going up every month. We can no longer afford to buy white beans in the market. We want actions that will yield positive results, not all this your motivational speak, speech. And that is exactly what he's doing. You got it. You got it. People who should be hiding are the ones leading. Tragedy ahead. <laughs> Yes, so mm -hmm. continue your good work. We love it in southwest and the in the north. Okay, oh, oh she's cool. My happiness is that dividends of governance in Nigeria does not know tribal sentiments. Everybody go collect. Okay, oh, somebody say I stand with Jagaba and say 40 40. Honestly, this is the best president in Nigeria. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Okay, her appointments presidu. Yes, it is a grand running. Same people will see vote for you, Mr. President. It is the house that voted for you. It is those that voted for you. That you are mocking, not me and my family. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.